Okay, um, Wanakam and welcome um, Singapore Updates. Uh, please do share to all your uh, loved ones who are in Singapore, especially those who are working and especially to those who are confused on VTL, uh, VTL informations. Okay, I'm going to give uh, a brief if possible, detail. I'll, I'll try to give in detail, but as much as what we know, okay, I'm not going to give any extra information which we are not confirmed yet. We have spoke with few uh, Singapore uh, government agencies um, uh, to confirm what is really happening and what is actually uh, what is the plan which uh, they are trying to execute currently uh, regarding about the borders. Uh, is the borders open, closed and everything, okay? First of all, um, VTL, okay? VTL, uh, VTL as far as everyone knows, it's a vaccinated travel lane, okay? First of all, what is a VTL and what is a VTP, okay? VTL is something where you apply online, okay? And all the, what you call the links I have given in this video, they are the links for you to apply VTL, okay? Currently, by land, there's no VTL yet. Let me be very straightforward. There's no VTL for land up to this second while I'm talking, okay? There's no VTL for land currently. Uh, the applications are not on. Are they going to open for VTL? We have to wait until uh, they have opened the links. Okay, but until now, until this second, there is no VTL for land yet. Okay, when you apply, what is VTL and what is VTP? Okay, when you apply VTL, that is an application where you will be uh, where you will be approved for you to use the vaccinated travel lane when your vaccinated travel lane application is approved that is called vtp okay when your vaccinated travel lane application gets approved you will be receiving a pass called vaccinated travel pass Okay, so by applying VTL, you are actually trying to obtain VTP. Okay, you obtain VTP through VTL. Is that very clear? Okay, don't get confused. Okay, do not get confused. Um, VTL, uh, VTL is an application for you to get VTP. Okay. The land procedure is going on. Maybe they should finalize baby by today or tomorrow. That is why we were not doing any 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 announce yet. Um, the process is going on. Uh, let them finalize. Maybe today or tomorrow they will they will they will finalize. Yeah, I can see few messages. On from VTL just announced. Yes, we are we are we are we are what you call. Uh, I'm aware of that, but let them come out with the procedures. Okay. Currently, they are still fixing the procedures. Okay, how to apply VTL? Okay, VTL application, the link is in this video. You can go and click the link which is, uh, which is in the video. Okay, what happens is when you apply VTL, okay, when you apply VTL, um, you will immediately get the response. That is what that has been spoke to me by the safe travel officer from Singapore. Okay. You will most probably within minutes, you will get an approval called VTP. Okay. This VTP approval is an approval for you to come into Singapore. Okay. For you to go out of Singapore, you can use VTL, you can use DCEV, you can go out from Singapore. Because if you are a Malaysian, for you to come out from Singapore, actually you don't need to apply VTL. But if you apply VTL, you will be exception from quarantine. Okay. VTL is not a daily commuting system. 
let me let me be very frank with y'all okay vtl is not a daily commuting system vtl actually has got nothing to do with malaysia this was not uh, this was not what you call uh, invented by the malaysian government this was not under any discussion between singapore and malaysia vtl is a process vtl is a system vtl uh, is a procedure which is been owned by singapore government okay singapore has given vtl not only to malaysia they have also given to few other countries like uk and so on okay so uh, uh, negotiation between singapore and malaysia was uh, we can't say vtl was created because of malaysia and singapore okay vtl is a system which has been created by singapore and they have been practicing for few other countries already okay now they have extended the service to malaysia that's all is vtl uh, rec uh, recognized by malaysia is vtl malaysia system no malaysia vtl is not a malaysia system okay if uh, for example um, uh, if you travel from uh, if you are traveling from all the vtl countries and you are coming to malaysia and if you ask malaysia do they recognize vtl no vtl system doesn't belongs to malaysia okay vtl system belongs to singapore okay singapore is the one who has initiated hereby malaysia is just you know just going against i mean going going along sorry going along with the singapore system that's about it okay for you to come out from singapore if you if you are not applying vtl you can come out anytime okay but if you are coming out here you will be quarantined in malaysia for seven days so if you apply vtl you don't get quarantined so i don't understand what is the big issue about where is, is it really benefiting the entire workers um, who are working in Singapore, I would answer that a very 50-50 answer, okay? Because the only thing which VTL, VTP has is you don't get quarantine. That's all, okay? It is as same as what it used to be last time for PCA and DCEV and whatsoever, okay? It is the same process. In fact, VTL, it is actually subject to more to the i mean more to the singapore people okay they have opened vtl because they want uh, people to come and visit singapore you know business actually vtl uh, has been initiated by singapore government not for malaysian workers okay i can daringly say this vtl has been initiated not for malaysian workers okay they are planning to bring in tourists okay without being quarantined business people without being quarantined uh, for those Singo uh, Singaporeans who are married outside Singapore, for them to go and see their family. But what they have done something good is they have included, okay, they have included the Malaysian workers into the VTL category. That's about it, okay. They have included the Malaysians, uh, the Malaysian workers inside, okay. So if you are a work, work permit holder, okay i don't want to go about the tourist part okay i'm not going about the tourist part i will answer to few questions later um the process is very simple before you buy a ticket okay before you buy a ticket you have to apply vtl first could be land could be flight whatsoever let me talk on flight because the flight procedures are very very straightforward okay you have to apply for a VTL. When you apply for a VTL, they will give you a VTP, a pass, okay, a vaccinated travel pass. Holding that pass, you have six days for you to travel from the date that you have applied. For example, if you have applied, uh, for example, 10th of December, you have applied, you got a date for you to travel under VTP, uh, 10th of December. From the 10th up to the 16th, you have six days for you to book a flight okay you have six days for you to book a flight to come into singapore for you to go out of singapore if you are using vtl if you obtain vtp it means you won't be uh, you won't be having uh, a quarantine uh, you won't be having a quarantine in malaysia but the malaysia procedures are yet to be out yet okay normally Singapore procedures are quite straightforward, but uh, Malaysia procedures, 
uh, you know lah. We know what what is going to happen in Malaysia. We are not sure yet, okay? Because when you have VTL, I mean VTP in your hand, when you travel from Singapore to come to Malaysia, you have to come to KLIA, okay? When you reach KLIA, they will bring you to gate G1, basically, okay? They will bring you to gate G1, where you have to go through a uh, quarantine. I mean, uh, uh, you have to take a PCR test. Keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, before you leave Singapore, you have to do a PCR test in Singapore. You have to do a PCR test in Singapore within two days, within 48 hours. If you are coming on the 10th, you have to do on the 8th, minimum on the 8th, you have to do a PCR test in Singapore. Then you bring the results. When you reach KLIA, here you will go through another PCR test. And this PCR test, the amount that you have to pay could be from 90 ringgit to 370 ringgit okay from 90 ringgit to 370 ringgit and you will be given a special place uh, to wait okay there will be a waiting area until your immigration clearance has been done in KLIA you will have to wait in KLIA from one to three hours this is what has been updated by uh, Malaysian Airlines Berhad on their website okay you would have to wait in the airport from from one to three hours they will give you a place for you to wait you wait there one to three hours until your COVID test report is out so basically what they are doing is they are making it fast okay and in KLIA uh, this clinical health called BP clinical health lab KLIA will be in charge of your swap test pcr test okay so basically what is going to happen is when you reach uh, KLIA you will have to take a swap test you wait there waiting area got any meal bro you ask me this kind of question how how you want me to answer you you have to ask the airport I will anyway I'll try to get I'll, I'll get it's a good question like three hours wait, waiting there anyway okay so when you wait for three hours after you get your pcr test results you are free to go okay if you are negative, then they will, I mean, if you're positive, then you have to be admitted, of course, lah. you will be either treated to the hospital or to your house, okay? Then when you come here, when you come here, and if you are visiting any VTL country which is recognized by Singapore, for example, if you are going to UK for five days, okay, you can go to UK for five days, you can come back to Malaysia again, and you can go into Singapore again, shouldn't be any problem. 14 days, if you are staying anywhere under VTL country, uh, which has been approved by Singapore government, no issues. Unless if you go to countries which is not recognized by uh, Singapore government. That is one. Okay. The second process is when you are going into Singapore, the same thing, you would have to take a two days prior PCR test in Malaysia. Okay. Listen very carefully. You have to take a prior uh, PCR test two days earlier. Okay. Take two days earlier. It means if you're going on the 10th, on the 8th, you have to take a PCR test. One thing. First of all, let me go step by step. Huh? You have to apply uh, what you call uh, VTL. Okay. You apply VTL. Immediately you get VTP. VTP means it's the pass for VTL. Okay. When you get VTP, in six days of the date that you have you have given you want to travel you have to book a flight okay keep in mind you also have to take an insurance if you are going into singapore if you are entering into singapore you would be required to take an insurance a covid uh, insurance a covid coverage insurance which is about 100000 ringgit malaysia okay the minimum sum must be 100,000 ringgit Malaysia or 32,500 dollars Sing dollars. Okay. And this insurance company can be any insurance company according to uh, the safe travel officers. Okay. Can be any insurance uh, company, but they must be protected in Singapore. This is because if you go into Singapore and if you are positive, then you have the medical coverage. The Singapore government is not going to uh, bear the cost. Okay. Let me come back to when you are going into Singapore. When you applied VTL to go into Singapore, keep in mind, uh, not only uh, working people can go into Singapore now. 
even tourists can go business people can go anyone who wants to go into singapore can go into singapore now okay anyone who wants to go into singapore can go into singapore now from malaysia keep this in mind so when you apply vtl you wait for the vtp pass when you get the vtp pass within the six days you book a flight ticket and you get the insurance and also when you are applying for vt uh, vtl you would also have to pay for a covid swab test in singapore a pcr swab test in singapore which is about 125 dollars this you have to pay when you are applying for vtl you this comes it's like a package when you apply vtl you have to pay the covid test okay so when you take the covid test so there's two covid tests if you are going into singapore first one you have to do it in malaysia uh, two days before then not two days before in prior two days huh? then after that uh, you go to singapore when you go to singapore they will give uh, another pcr test over there okay which you have already paid then what happens is you are subject to be quarantined for 24 hours you are subject to be quarantined for 24 hours in singapore how does this quarantine work and why do they quarantine you for 24 hours according to what we spoke just now uh, it is not going to be exactly 24 hours it could be five hours it could be six hours it could be 10 hours this quarantine period is for you to get your results your pcr results which you took in the airport in singapore okay so for you to get that results of the pcr you have to uh, isolate yourself uh, in a house in singapore if you have a house and make sure no one is sharing a room with you okay you should be alone in the room session uh, you should be alone uh, alone in the room and the room should have an attached bathroom one thing if you are going two person together you and your friend you and your sister your parents or anyone if both of you all are going you all have a room both of you all can get isolated into the same room but if you are traveling together the travel date cannot differ okay uh, one day before one day after cannot if you're traveling together you are entering inside the room together can husband and wife want to go together can you all can get quarantine in the same room if you think getting quarantine in the same room or maybe your house has more people inside you can't get i mean uh, there's not enough room you can book any hotel in singapore for you to be isolated for one day okay so from the airport you just take a taxi uh, you have to put your designated place when you apply for VTL and make sure you're going to only that place. So you can straight go to a hotel. You can just be in the hotel less than 24 hours when the PCR test results is out. You are free to go. There's no quarantine. Okay, so this is this is what is happening. The land one, um, uh, the land one. Uh, I have not got any updates yet. We have got only very very little updates because we are not we are not sure how is the PCR test going to work. Where are they going to wait? Uh, if if you are going into Singapore, where are you going to get quarantine? Um, can be sharing toilet with who you want to share toilet, brother? Um, anyone have number? What number? Okay, so that's about it for the land one. We will get. Maybe let two, three days go because they have to update the procedures. Okay. And just uh, one more thing. Don't get confused. It's very, very simple. Okay. Remember something for you to come out from Singapore. Actually, if you apply VTL, there's no quarantine. That's all. If you, if you, there, there, there's an emergency where you cannot apply VTL or you don't get flights or something like that, you can still leave the country, but subject in Malaysia, they will put you under quarantine okay dcev is still working i'm out under pcf from last month is it possible singapore by vtl by land yes pca can apply vtl remember vtl is an application for you not to be quarantined that's about it you can if you have pca you can apply you have work permit you can apply you have even you want to go for a visit, I'm telling you, even if you want to go for a visit to Singapore as a tourist, you just need to apply uh, VTL. And for PR holders, according to Safe Travel Officer, PR holders, you need to book a flight which comes under VTL.
okay but you don't need to apply for VTL this is what they have told us for Singaporeans who are going into Singapore and for PR who are going into Singapore you don't actually need to apply VTL but you need to take a designated remember this word huh? you have to take a designated VTL flight make sure it's a VTL flight okay make sure it's a VTL flight if we want to go back to to Singapore to JB for now let's I'm not going to comment on the land yet and total how much okay the PCR test for you to come out from Singapore okay if you're coming out from Singapore and going back inside the PCR test itself is going to cost you about $400 plus and your flight ticket it's about 100 plus to and fro you have to check out so more or less six to seven hundred dollars maybe and I, I have only Singapore number but uh, my Sujatra okay when you come down to KLIA the one of the first priority which has been which has been arranged in KLIA is for you to get a SIM card over there okay there are a few telcos or maybe one telco I'm not sure what I went through with uh, the Malaysian airport uh, just now there is a telco center for you to immediately get a telco line and for you to put internet so that is not a problem any any more questions for Singaporean without can we go wait this one I need to answer wait uh, okay I left your message um, for Singaporean without any VTL can we go through Malaysia without VTL okay for Singaporeans who wants to come into Malaysia make sure you check your visas okay I'm not sure whether Singapore Malaysia has opened for visitors from Singapore I'm not sure are they approving VTL I'm not sure because Malaysian government they have they are only talking about the workers in Singapore so about the tourists who are coming in you have to check with the Malaysian Embassy in Singapore if there's no required visa for Singaporeans to come to Malaysia if there's no required visa or if they are willing to give an on arrival visa when you reach Malaysia you can use the VTL shouldn't be any problem and how about uh, if I go VTL by air and I need to take VTL flight can I take can I I need to buy insurance okay insurance basically if you are coming from Singapore to Malaysia I don't understand why you need to get an insurance because you are a Malaysia if you have COVID I think the government should be responsible a bit lah you can still go to GH and so on it's only the Singapore government wants you to take an insurance because you are a foreigner when you go to Singapore and if you are positive you know the causes over there they are just afraid that you can't bear your your causes so insurance I think when you are coming to Malaysia you don't need to take insurance I don't see why you need to take an insurance if you are a Malaysian you are coming to Malaysia I don't I I don't I don't I, uh, I don't see a reason for you to take an insurance but if you are going from Malaysia to Singapore you need to take insurance which I told you the coverage must be at least hundred thousand ringgit uh in air travel there is a problem in air travel what problem okay um spouse visa husband india can enter singapore to Johor custom brother india i'm not sure brother you ask me something got to do with with singapore citizen i mean uh with malaysians who are working okay just before i i wrap up while i read few questions if there's any questions you all can ask for those people who are working in Singapore, okay, the only good news y'all have is y'all can come back without quarantine. Besides that, this is nothing to be hoo ha hoo ha as what we see on Facebook, okay. I know that there, there are few pages who are, who are really trying to boost their pages, you know, getting more likes, getting more comments very good what they are doing they are sharing a lot of information which is very good but please just don't overcook the rice lah you know you masa itu nasi nanti jadi bubo susah you know just don't overcook the rice um just just play play we we need we need to know where to push the buttons you know we we can't straight away push 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 because what the malaysian government is doing is what from my perspective what i'm seeing is the Malaysian government is putting a huge pressure into the Singapore government and the Singapore government is tolerating that which I don't understand for what reason okay normally they don't they don't they don't do that they will keep a hold they will say okay wait 
but this time they are working together. So let's don't crush that thing. Even we are also keeping quiet. We have fired up a lot of issues previously. Okay, we have fired up so many issues. But this time we, we have decided to keep calm and see what is the outcome because they are trying to break something and they are trying to come out. So I hope few groups who are responsible, Facebook groups, try to keep it slow a bit. You know, don't put too much of uh, pressure on the Singaporeans because we don't want the Singaporeans to react too much also. Okay, because Singapore governments do listen to their people. They are not like nation governments. You know, so please, um, hi, good evening, bro. I, I under PCA going back next month. Can I take VTL or still need to go under, under quarantine? You can take VTL, brother. Whoever has PCA, please apply for VTL. I'm saying this again. You have PCA, you apply for VTL. Okay. Because actually now PCA, I'm not sure how PCA is going to work anymore. First of all, why do we need PCA anymore? Because if you are if 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 your working permit is still active you and if the government allows you to go out and come in there's no need of pca anymore already i have my number now how to update my sejatra you have to come to kla and buy a sim card brother okay for the land okay i think i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna stop here i'm not gonna comment much on the land let's see what what are they doing so far more than four thousand travelers close to five thousand travelers has been approved VTL has been approved okay so there's no reason for anyone to complain that uh, your VTL uh, VTL by air is not limited you have to understand something why do they say limited or not limited you see VTL application is not controlled because they they will give you whatever dates you want whatever date you want they will keep on giving you but now it comes down to do you have the flight or no do you have the flight or no if there's enough flight it's okay they they won't be controlling the air okay they won't control the air because even though if you have obtained a vtp pass and you do not have flights available no use okay but they might control the land the land they might control if no means it's going to be a big haywire over there okay they definitely will put a control for the for the land for the land VTL. That is for sure. Talk in Tamil. Give me a second, brother. Let me finish this first. Asan Faisal. There is controlled uh, and I must take flight. Okay, for what I know, there's few bus companies has been chartered, but still there's a lot of questions lah. Because you see, uh, it is from a Singapore point to Lakin. Okay, which I know actually, but I just don't want to reveal it yet. Lah, okay, it is from a Singapore point to Lakin. Okay, so you get on the bus here, you get down in, in Lakin. But in between, you have to go up custom and come down custom, both the sides. So how is it going to work? We have to see. Maybe they will control the bus like how they are controlling the flights. Okay, maybe you have to book the bus ticket like how you are booking the flight ticket. You know, so this this kind of issues might come they will control basically they will control the bus because bus is easier for them to control the the vtl they will give you they will give you the vtl you want vtl you take approve 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 all vtl they will give you but what is the point when you have vtl and you do not have a bus ticket okay they will control the buses which i maybe they will give okay when a bus goes you stop the next bus maybe they will go uh, following by that but definitely they will control the buses. But VTL application, they are not going to control. For what they need to control that? They can just give you approval. Uh, uh, what I heard is an auto auto approved system. So that is not... Motorbike so far, no brother. They are only looking into the bus. Because motorbike means they can't control. Bus, they can still control like how they are controlling the flights. Okay, anything else? So remember guys, VTL... It's an application when your VTL approve, that is called a pass. Okay, it's a pass. It's a VTL pass. Okay, it's a vaccinated travel pass. Um, how to apply VTL, HR or employer? You apply your own self, brother. The link is on this video. You just click the link and you can apply. And also, not to forget, I have actually included another very, very important link in this video. This link is called mainlymiles.com. Okay, you can see the link over there in this video. Please click the link. 
the link has given a lot a lot a lot of information i thank to the to the to the company who have given the link uh, to us who have shared to us he have given a lot of information you want to check your flights you can go to the link and check you want to check how much is the pcr you can check please go and look at the link mainly uh, the link is mainlymiles.com okay don't leave where brother okay that's about it uh, i think i'm going to end my english conversation over here and i think everyone uh, y'all are y'all are aware of what to do and how to do don't get confused my uh, the office number is i put our office number there and there is a whatsapp number over there if you need do we need to stay home quarantine seven days by land no 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 vtl the meaning of vtl you don't get quarantine remember this for you to be not to be quarantined that is why the system is over there every day every day can travel by bus i don't think so you uh, you can do that la brother they they won't give you the approval for that this is not a daily commuting system this is not a daily commuting system again i'm telling you the system is not meant for the workers in malaysia singapore okay this is just a break for you to go and see your family and come maybe once a month okay maybe once a month let's see what is going to happen Okay, so that's about it. Uh, anything you can contact Permas for those people who have still not become Permas member. Come on, guys. We have been working a lot. We have been giving y'all updates on on Singapore. Please try to support this organization who has been there from uh, since the border closed. I think within two to three months, we have start we have started uh, a lot of issues uh, that we have uh, taken out. You know from pca to dcev to rtg so many things that we have fought with the government for okay the involvement of of this organization is very very highly uh, what you call uh, we were we were there that day and until today we are still here uh, you know fighting for so many things the the least that y'all can do is to support this organization just to become a member that's all okay thanks everyone um, the links is over there Travelers must test negative valid pre antigen test or oh, polymer chain reaction PCR. Can we choose? Yes, can we choose? You can choose. But looks like now they are going towards PCR more. Uh, this antigen rapid test they are reducing. I'm 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 seeing most of their website. They are really not encouraging uh, that. I think it's better for you to take PCR. Okay. Um, thanks to all the viewers. I'm just gonna go shortly in in Tamil for those people who. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak in uh, Chinese. If, if not, definitely I'll talk in Chinese. Okay. Uh, if I'm in Tamil, so I'm in Tamil. 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 அங்க ஃபீல் அப் பண்ணும் போது நீங்க என்ன என்ன ஃபீல் அப் பண்றீங்கன்னா விடிஎல் சரியா வேக்சினேட்டட் டிராவல் லேனை வந்து நீங்க ஃபீல் அப் பண்ணுவீங்க இந்த விடிஎல் ஃபீல் அப் பண்ண உடனே எத்தனையோ மணி நேரத்தில் வந்து உங்களுக்கு அப்ரூவல் கிடைச்சிடும் இந்த அப்ரூவலுக்கு பேர் வந்து விடிபி சரியா வேக்சினேட்டட் டிராவல் பாஸ் இந்த பாஸ் கிடைச்ச உடனே நீங்க எந்த டேட்டில் போலான்னு நினைச்சிங்க உதாரணத்துக்கு வச்சுக்கோங்க அடுத்த மாதம் பத்தாம் தேதி நீங்க போலான்னு போட்டிருக்கீங்க பத்தாம் தேதியிலிருந்து பதினாறாம் தேதி குள்ளார வந்து நீங்க வந்து இந்த பிளைட் டிக்கெட்டை புக் பண்ணிடணும் சரியா இந்த டேட் குள்ளார வந்து நீங்க போயிட்டு வர்றதா இருந்தால் நீங்க போறதா இருந்தால் போகலாம் அப்படி வர்றதா இருந்தாலும் நீங்க இந்த 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 டேட் குள்ளார வந்து நீங்க வந்து அப்ளை பண்ணிக்கலாம் விடிஎல் வந்து நீங்க போறதுக்கும் அப்ளை பண்ணலாம் வரதுக்கும் அப்ளை பண்ணலாம் சரிங்களா நல்லா கேட்டுக்குங்க போறதுக்கும் நீங்க அப்ளை பண்ணலாம் வரதுக்கும் அப்ளை பண்ணலாம் ரொம்ப முக்கியம் என்னன்னா VTL flight தான் நீங்க எடுக்கணும் டெசினேட்டட் விடிஎல் ஃபிளைட் நீங்க போயிட்டு ஃபிளைட் வந்து போய் புக் பண்ணும் போது VTL flight மட்டும் தான் நீங்க எடுக்கணும் நீங்க VTL flight எடுக்காம வேற ஃபிளைட் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா சத்தியமா உங்க மலேசியால வந்து உங்களை குவாரண்டைன் பண்ணுவாங்க நீங்க திருப்பி சிங்கப்பூருக்கு போறோம் போது கூட நீங்க VTL flight எடுக்கலனா சத்தியமா சிங்கப்பூர்லயும் உங்களை குவாரண்டைன் பண்ணுவாங்க சரியா சோ பேசிக்கலி அதுதான் உங்களுக்கு மேற்கொண்டு என்னாச்சும் தெரியுதா இருந்தா கண்டிப்பா நீங்க பெர்மாசோட வாட்ஸ்அப் வந்து நீங்க வாட்ஸ்அப் பண்ணி கேட்கலாம் இன்னொன்னு என்னன்னா இந்த பிசிஆர் டெஸ்ட் எல்லாம் நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா எல்லாத்துக்கும் காசு கட்டணும் நீங்க மலேசியால இருந்து இப்ப மலேசியால இருந்து சிங்கப்பூருக்கு போக போறீங்க வேலை சம்பந்தப்பட்டது இல்ல சுத்தி பார்க்க போக போறீங்க தாராளமா நீங்க போகலாம் 
சிங்கப்பூருக்கு போய் வேலை தேட போறீங்களா தாராளமா நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுங்க யார் யார் வந்து சிங்கப்பூர்ல வந்து போய் வேலை தேட போறீங்களோ இது ஒரே ஒரு அரிய வாய்ப்பு இதுதான் சிங்கப்பூர்ல வந்து வேலை தேடணும் சிங்கப்பூருக்கு போய் தங்கி நீங்க வேலை தேடணும்னு நினைச்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னா உடனடியாக நீங்க என்ன பண்ணுங்க இப்பயே வந்து மேல அந்த லிங்க் இருக்கு அந்த விடிஎலோட லிங்க் இருக்கு அந்த லிங்கை வந்து நீங்க கிளிக் பண்ணிட்டு அது எல்லாமே ப்ரொசீடியர் எல்லாம் பார்த்துட்டு ஒரு ஃபிளைட் டிக்கெட்டை வாங்கி நீங்க உள்ளுக்கு போயிருங்க முடிஞ்சு அவ்வளவுதான் ஆனா நீங்க இங்கேருந்து உள்ளுக்கு போறதுக்கு வந்து உங்களோட கோவிட் டெஸ்ட் வந்து ஏறத்தால ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டாலர்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டாலர்ஸ்னா ஏறத்தால வந்து ஒரு நானூறு ரூலி வச்சுக்கோங்க நானூறு ரூலி அப்புறம் இங்க வந்து ஒரு நூறு ஐநூறு ரூலி ஃபிளைட் டிக்கெட் ஒரு ஆயிரம் ரூலி நீங்க சிங்கப்பூருக்கு போறதா இருந்தா ஃபிளைட் டிக்கெட் சேர்த்து அதுக்கு பதிலாக நீங்க என்ன செய்யலாம் பை லேண்ட் திறக்க போறாங்க எனி டைம் இன்னைக்கு நாளைக்கு பேசிடுவாங்க இப்ப கூட பேசிக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் இன்னைக்கு நாளைக்கு திறந்துருவாங்க ஸோ இந்த லேண்ட் திறந்துட்டாங்கன்னா நீங்க லேண்ட் மூலியமா கூட சிங்கப்பூருக்கு சின்னாங்கா சின்னாங்கா போயிடலாம் நீங்க சரியா சின்னாங்கா போய் அங்க இருக்கிறவங்க நீங்க என்ன வேலை ஆனா நீங்க வந்து விசிட்டரா தான் போற முடியும் விசிட்டராகவும் போரலாம் நீங்க நார்மலாகவும் போரலாம் பிள்ளைங்களை கூட்டிட்டு போகலாம் லீவுக்கு போகலாம் பிசினஸ்க்கு போகலாம் எதுக்கு என்ன போடலாம் ஆனா டெய்லி கம்யூட் பண்ண முடியாது போயிட்டு போயிட்டு வர முடியாது சரியா இப்ப லேண்ட்ல போனீங்கன்னா பஸ் மூலியமா நீங்க போகணும் ஸோ அந்த பஸ் உள்ள ப்ரொசீடிய வந்து நம்மளுக்கு இன்னும் தெளிவா இன்னும் வரல பிளைட்டோட ப்ரொசீடிய வந்து தெளிவா இருக்கு சரியா மே ஐ கால் பெர்மாஸ் ஃபார் கிளாரிபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் கோர்ஸ் யூ கேன் கால் பெர்மாஸ் ஃபார் கிளாரிபிகேஷன் பிளீஸ் டூ வாட்ஸ்அப் கால் டூ நாட் டைரக்ட் காலர்ஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் எனி மோர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஐ வில் டேக் த லாஸ்ட் ஃபைனல் த்ரீ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் என்னாச்சும் கேள்வி இருந்துச்சுன்னா நீங்க தாராளமா கேள்வி கேட்கலாம் எனி மோர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் நிறைய கேள்வி ஐ நீட் ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் மினிஸ்டர் நாட் லைக் தட் ஓகே ஒன் மோர் திங் ஒன் மோர் திங் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் ஆக்சுவலி அவர் மலேஷியன் ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் மினிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஷுட் ஸ்டெப் இன் லாங் டைம் ரெடி திஸ் இஸ் ஒர்க் ஷி சூ பட் யூனோலா இஸ் டூ பிஸி தே இஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் நிறைய கேள்வி கேட்காதீங்க சிக் சிக் ஆன்சர் பண்ணுற மாதிரி என்னச்சும் கேள்வி இருந்துச்சா கேளுங்க ஐ திங்க் தட்ஸ் தட்ஸ் அபவுட் இட் என்னென்ன அப்டேட் பண்ணணுமோ அப்டேட் பண்ணியாச்சு அண்ணே பிசிஆர் ஹவு மெனி டைம் டேக் PCR if you are coming out from Singapore and if you want to go back into Singapore 1 2 3 4 4 times each time you come two times each time you go in two times two days before you have to take i mean not before two days prior you have to take on arrival you have to take so it's two time two times okay anything else nothing okay i'm going to finish the video regarding passport renewal at embassy our embassy is still very slow i'm getting thousands of call pressure the embassy we can't do anything take care thanks thanks any 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 other information you all need na idile link potruken na solla maranditen and the link oda peru vande mainly anga mele paarenga mainlymiles.com nu solli one irukku adha click pannunga and the website vande nariya nariya knowledgeable ரொம்ப முக்கியமான தகவல் வந்து நிறைய கொடுத்துருக்காங்க அது மூலியமா உங்களுக்கு எல்லாமே கிடைக்கிறதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்கு ஹவு லாங் விசிட்டர் லுக்கிங் ஃபார் ஜாப் கேன் ஸ்டே இட் சைட் யூ டோன்ட் அஸ்மி லைக் திஸ் கொஸ்டின்ல பிரதர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் விசிட்டர் கேனாட் ஃபைன் ஜாப் இன் சிங்கப்பூர் யூ ஹேவ் டு பண்டாய் பண்டாய் கோ அண்ட் டூ திஸ்ல பிரதர் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த விசால ஆன் அரைவல் சிங்கப்பூர் கிவ் சம்னி 14 டேஸ் ஆர் 1 मंथ இஸ் தே गिव यू 14 டேஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு பீ 14 டேஸ்ல on arrival they uh, they will give you like last time 14 days if you are mistaken 2 weeks i think sometimes they give you even 7 days that is up to you uh and why we should need to talk take swab test when already taken two dose of vaccine most of the covid patients now are all vaccine patients most of them who are getting covid now they have all been vaccinated two times ready so that is why you need to take pcr test and how about the daily travel no daily travel okay thanks thanks guys take care uh, share this video please tag all your singapore friends thanks